What's happening, fam? LA All Movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below, as usual. I'll go get it. PayPal link there also to ask me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. This video is entitled Make Friends, Not Enemies. Um, in our current society, we kind of look at haters as being a good thing. That's how we look at it as a as a norm. I think it's very stupid. I think it's better to have friends. See, when you create friends, you create allies, people on your side. You might have to do your friends favors and your friends might have to do you favors. You might have to watch their back when you see something that they have nothing, no idea about and they might have to watch your back the same. That's the thing about an ally and a friend, right? You look out for them in their best interest and in their family's best interest. And when you create, when you make friends, you know, you can make friends in high and low places. It's, it hasn't, it, I'm not making some negative implication about this. But what I'm saying is, you, if you create friends and make friends, you never know, your network goes so much further. So much further. You can get so much more done. A good reputation gets you a whole lot further in life than a bad one. When your name comes up and people hear your name and they're like, for real? Oh, I respect that person. I respect their reputation. I might, I don't even know them, but I know some of their friends and their friends speak highly of them. That's a, That's a good thing. You know? That's a capital that you can't buy. Um, but, and all you really have to do is be um, A1. You know, you have to be a, a, a good person. A person who um, is honorable. That's pretty much the gist of it. Be, be honorable, have integrity. You know, some things you can do things a regular way. Sometimes you have to do things a little unorthodox. But, as long as you're effective and you get things done and you're doing it from the right place, um, most people are going to be cool with that. You know, they're going to be cool with that. Um, now, the thing about this that, how can I say this, that, that people seem to miss is what happens when you create enemies? See, people think, you know, if I got a lot of enemies... That's a, it's still word of mouth. You know, all publicity is good publicity. Bad publicity is not good publicity. It's not. Bad publicity gets you a bad name. And it sends your name through the mud for a very long distance. That's not good. You don't want to be known... For bad publicity. You don't want to be infamous. If you, you might not even want to be famous. But you sure don't want to be infamous. And people think being infamous is a good thing. Because if you got a lot of enemies. Here's the thing. Just like you having a lot of friends goes far and wide. You having a lot of enemies can go even further. Because people have ill intentions of you. Because when you create enemies. You create far more enemies that you don't know about. See, you you cross this person. It affects their family. It affects their friends. Their families. Their friends. Associates. You know, people who looked up to the person. And when I mean create an enemy, sometimes you can create you could cross somebody who, was, who has a great reputation because you're trying to send a message that, I guess, you can be cutthroat. That's, that's, that's a um, slippery slope. Because if you have no code and you go out there being cutthroat, you have no idea who's coming for you and why. Uh, the reason this video came up, me and my aunt were talking... And she laughed about the end of Cesario. 
and I and I because I was talking to her about the same thing that happened in Blood Diamond when that um quote unquote military captain was in the fight near the end with Demon Hansu and Demon Hansu picked up that shovel and a guy who was all heartless and all you know, I, I kill you, chop your hands off, kill your family, kill your kids. You gonna do what I say? He ah. Why did that happen? He was so heartless, but he couldn't die heartless. See, because when you create enemies, you forget something. Every predator can be prey. You don't, you know, in every predator has the same. Emotions as prey And that was the same thing about Cesario And I laughed when I was telling I said you know the, 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 the character that he killed at the end He had me laughing because You know He comes to kill him He's like um, <clears throat> You know what I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here like a man I'll die like a man in my chair Let my wife and my kids go <laughs> Dog you created an enemy. And when he shot his his wife and his kids, and he was, oh my God. Oh. You didn't see that coming? You really didn't see that coming? Seriously? After all the dirt you did. This is a problem that happens when you create enemies. When you create, when you make friends, you have a guardian angel. When you create enemies, you create monsters that have no conscience. So stop looking for one. You know, you reap what you sow. You know, when you when you make friends and you, you, you reap good friendships, you sow good friendships. People in high and low places gonna look out for you. Because you looked out for some people. And I, like I said about being an honorable person, sometimes you just it's just, you know, you're just doing the right thing. And doing the right thing makes friends. You ain't got to be around forever. You ain't got to throw it in people's face. You ain't got, you don't have, you don't need to do none of that. You don't even have to remember the things that you did. You really don't. People, people remember. And people will come to your defense because some of the things that you did made their lives better. So you got to be careful about who you cross, right? Now, when you make enemies, you have no idea the, the, to the extent that people will go to make you suffer. You don't know what you did to other people. You don't know how it affects those families. You don't know if you cross somebody and their children had to watch and their children started seething about it and it's like you know what this is what you did to my family I'm going to dedicate my life to making you suffer and you have no idea because you know what when you make enemies it never crosses your mind it's just like telling a lie when you tell the truth boom it's over with you know good or bad right or wrong it's the truth everybody knows it's the truth Everybody could deal with the truth. But when you tell a lie, now you got to remember all the lies you told and all the people you told the lies to. And at some point, you're going to slip up. And normally slip up horribly. And it's going to come back to bite you. And then the wolves going to come. Now, what I'm about to say, some of y'all may or may not get. When you make friends, it actually makes you stronger. Because when you make friends, you, you, you're actually in a position where you know you have to be on your best, be your best, and bring your best to the table. So your friends can benefit just like you benefit from your friends. So iron sharpens iron. But when you create enemies, you pretty much create your own weakness. Because you're going to spend too much time running, ducking, hiding, lying, manipulating, shuffling to ever actually work on strength. 
It's just manipulation. You might get strong and lying and manipulating, but you're going to be horrible at foresight. Horrible. Uh, so, this was on my mind to say, uh, like, share, subscribe, catch y'all on the next one. Peace.